Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be on this DIY all the time denim jacket. Let's begin! You are first going to need, of course, a denim jacket. It can be any light wash denim jacket or a dark wash denim jacket. It doesn't really matter just because we are going to go in first with a white layer of paint to then enhance and make sure that the colors are actually vibrant and stand out on the denim itself. And I'm sure you've guessed it, I will be painting a beautiful butterfly on this denim jacket. It just has a beautiful meaning for a friend of mine and I thought it was a perfect Christmas gift. So I didn't necessarily want to bore you with drawing a butterfly on a sheet of paper. So I went ahead and sketched it ahead of time and I did so because drawing directly on denim is quite the task just because of the material and the thickness of it. So the sketch is just to bypass the initial sketch on your denim. And because denim can be difficult to draw on, you want to button up the jacket and then add some sort of cardboard or some kind of support in between the denim jacket just so that it acts as more of a flat surface to draw and paint on. It will definitely help, especially when it comes to drawing on your denim. Now I'm finally going to start sketching on the actual denim jacket. This is just me utilizing the template which made this process or this step a lot easier than if I was just kind of freehanding it from the beginning. And just remember that your first sketch of whatever you are drawing on your denim jacket doesn't have to be so highly detailed just because of the fact that you are going to go over it with a white layer of paint first. So if you actually add all the detail, it's just going to become erased with the white paint. And you don't want all of that hard work to just be erased so easily. And for the next step when it comes to painting, I'm actually going to be painting with three different methods just because as I did my research for the best paint to paint on denim or just fabric in general, everyone's video claimed that theirs did work with their method and I just wasn't exactly sure if it was true so I decided to try out three different methods to see which ones actually do work and then which ones didn't. So you'll just see three different types of paint whenever it comes time to paint the denim jacket. Now the first method of paint is using textile medium and acrylic paint. So this is just using one part textile medium and then one part acrylic paint. Any brand of acrylic paint as long as it's weatherproof and permanent should work. So here in a cup of course I'm just doing one part of each then I'll mix it and this will be the first layer of my butterfly which is going to be the base. And I thought it was going to be a good idea just to use this method first just because there is going to be white in the butterfly. So if it doesn't work I would still be able to see if it worked or not. And textile medium becomes a flexible fabric paint so it's not going to be like a stiff butterfly or a stiff anything whenever you paint it onto your denim jacket. It will have the flexibility as fabric should. And again, you just want to use any color acrylic that you need along with the textile medium and we'll see if it works. Once you completely fill in the base of your sketch, you want to let it dry completely. I decided to be patient and wait a whole 24 hours just to be sure that it was completely dry in all areas. Now that your base is completely dry, this is the time to go in and add all of the detail that you need for your sketch. 
Now I'm more of a fan of sketching with a pencil just because it isn't so permanent. I can erase it opposed to using a pen or a marker. But after I sketch out the entire detail of my butterfly, I then go over it with a pen just so that the camera can actually pick up all of the detail that I did draw on the butterfly because it wasn't really picking up the pencil sketch. Okay, now that you have all of your details sketched out on your base, it is time to start painting. So now I am gonna let you know of the other two methods that we are gonna try and paint our denim jacket. So the first one is using an acrylic paint, just a simple base acrylic paint. So the only requirement needed to use plain acrylic paint to use as fabric paint is just to make sure that it says it's permanent. So I am using the Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels in the color black for my butterfly. And here I'm just trying to show you if it would zoom in that it does say it is permanent in the back. And the third and final method is using actual fabric paint. I am using two different colors from two different brands just because I couldn't find the exact blue I was looking for. And those paints are the Tulip Soft Matte Brush On Fabric Paint and then the Imagine 8 Soft Touch Fabric Paint as well. And then I was sure to combine that very well till it was just to a blue tone of my liking. Here is when I thought I was happy with the color and as soon as I started brushing it on, it just matched too much or too close to the denim color itself. So I did go in and add a splash of the white acrylic paint that I used for the base just to lighten up the color. And I was careful not to add too much acrylic paint just because I didn't want to change the proportions of acrylic paint to fabric paint just because of course I did want to test how well fabric paint works and I didn't want to change the results too much by adding too much acrylic paint. Now here is the blue shade I was happy with. I know it looks far brighter than the initial color, but it actually didn't take that much acrylic paint. I just added just a splash of white paint, mixed it up, and I was pretty happy with it. Now just remember, the initial base that you do paint onto your denim jacket in white definitely does depend on what it is you want to paint on your denim jacket. If you decide to go with like a mural you want to make sure that you paint the entire back piece or if it's just some kind of landscape and you do want to add a sky make sure you still continue to actually add the entire base throughout the entire denim jacket just so that when you do add the sky itself it's still the same consistency and kind of vibrancy and saturation of colors opposed to if you only painted the bottom half of your landscape with the white base opposed to not doing the top half. So in other words that are probably far more easy to understand, if you're going to paint on the denim jacket, make sure you add a base there first. And as I say that, I uh, realized I forgot to add the base to my antennas, which I think will be okay just because it is going to be colored or painted in black anyways.
And now we're jumping right into using the black acrylic paint. Again, I am just using the simple Deco Art Americana glass enamels acrylic paint and nothing else with it. I didn't add any textile medium or I didn't combine it with any fabric paint at all. And keep in mind, this can be a pretty time-consuming project. It definitely depends on what your masterpiece is. Obviously, the more detailed, the far longer it'll take to complete everything. Especially when it comes time to layering on paint, you want to make sure that each layer of paint is dried before painting on top of it, just because you don't want to mix the colors and then create another color that you weren't necessarily wanting. And as you can see, the black layer of paint wasn't exactly as pitch black as I wanted it to be. So I actually did let the first coat dry and then go in with a second coat just to make sure that it was just as dark as I really wanted. Now my last step here is just going back in with the white paint. Again, I am just using the textile medium and the acrylic paint that I had mixed for my base just to kind of go in and then add the extra detail to the white part of my butterfly. And here is the completed painted butterfly and don't worry we are going to throw it in the washing machine because we do have to test out every method. So I did let it dry for a full 24 hours before throwing it in the washing machine. So I did toss the denim jacket in the washing machine by itself just in case any of the paint came off I didn't want it to get onto any other clothing items and then I washed it on a delicate cycle. So here is the denim jacket after one wash cycle. And as you can see, the black acrylic paint didn't hold up as well as the others. It's definitely patchy and cracked in some areas, although majority of the black paint is still there. So I did go back to the craft store and pick up the same Tulip Soft Matte fabric paint in black. And I repainted all of the black detail. I didn't want to just do it in the patches or in the cracked areas just because I wanted to make sure the entire thing looked uniform and just one cohesive piece. And we all know that the Tulip Soft Matte Fabric Paint does work, so I didn't want to bore you with another washer machine um, cycle. So I think it's safe to say that the textile medium mixed with the acrylic paint method did work, and so did using the fabric paint, of course. But the only thing that didn't work was the permanent acrylic paint by itself. So here is our final product. I really love the way it came out. I think it's going to be a great gift. And I hope testing out these three methods has helped you decide which route you want to go if you decide to do this DIY project. Well, as always, thanks for watching everyone and please subscribe.